Dear students, this is the last problem of labor variance. This problem is labor yield variance. This problem is belongs to laws. Calculate the labor variance from the following information. Standard wages. There are two types of labor. Grade X for men and grade Y for women. In grade X, 90 men at rupees 2 per hour. And in grade Y, 60 women at rupees 3 per hour. And in actual wages, grade X, 80 men at rupees 2.50 per hour. And in grade Y, 70 women at rupees 2 per hour. Budgeted hours are 1000 and actual hours 900. Production, total 5000 units. Standard loss, 20% and actual loss, 900 units. Third question given, first we will maintain a table by given data. 90 men given for standard units or standard data for and 1000 hours are given for budgeted data and 900 hours for actual data. By the help of these, we will maintain this table. Total labors are 150 in standard and 150 for actual. And now first we will calculate standard yield or production. Uh, for standard production, 20% rate is given. Total units production uh, is 5000 and 20% is getting lows. So we will deduct 5000 multiply 20 of 100. It means 1000. So we will deduct 1000 units as loss. Then the units remaining units is 4000. And in actual yield production, 5000 units total units and 900 units are loss. So the remaining units is 4100. First, we will calculate standard time for actual output for the calculation of labor cost variance. And this formula is standard time for each type of labor divided by standard yield multiply actual yield. Now, we will calculate this. First, we will calculate this for standard time for, first we will calculate this for men. Standard time for each type of labor means 90,000 divided by standard yield. Standard yield is 4000 and actual yield is 4100. Now we will calculate this and after calculate this, this value will come 92 to 50. And now we will calculate just like this manner for women. Now we will calculate this. We will calculate standard time for actual output for women. Standard time for each type of labor, it means 60,000 for women divided by standard yield 4,000 multiply actual yield 4,100. Now this value will come 61,500 hours for women and for men 92,250 we will calculate. Already calculate. Now we will calculate labor cost variance and labor cost variance formula is standard cost minus actual cost and for the calculation of standard cost the formula is standard time multiply standard rate so standard time for men for men and for women standard time 92250 multiply standard rate 2 minus actual time 72000 multiply 2.50 now we will calculate this 92250 multiply 2 minus 72000 multiply 2.50 and the answer will come 4500 in favorable term now we will calculate this for women small so is standard time multiply standard rate for women the time is 61500 multiply 3 minus actual time 63000 multiply actual rate 2 rupees and the result will come 61300 and this result is 58500 in favorable term by the combining of these results we will find out 63000 in 58,000 this term and this term in 
we will, one. we will add it in. Now we will calculate labor rate variance. And labor rate variance formula is actual time multiply standard rate minus actual rate. Now we will put the values for man and woman. Actual time for man. Actual time for man 72,000 and for woman 63,000. Standard rate for men 2, 2 and standard rate for women 3 and actual rate for men 2.50 and for women 2. Now we will solve this and the value will come 36,000 in adversarial form and for women 63,000 in favorable form. By the combining of these two values the answer will come 27,000 in favorable form. Now we will calculate labor efficiency variance. Efficiency variance. And its formula is standard rate multiply standard time minus actual time. We will calculate this for men and women for both. And now we will put the values for men and women. Standard rate. Standard rate for men 2 and for women 3. And standard time we already calculated for men 92, 250 and for women 61 500 minus actual time 72,000 for men and 63,000 for women. Now we will solve this 2 multiply 92,250 minus 72,000 and the result will come 40,500 in favorable form and this value after solve this the result will come 40. 500 in adversarial form. Now by combining both of these the result will come 36,000 in favorable form. Now we will calculate labor mix variance and for labor mix variance first we will calculate revised standard time. Now we will calculate labor mix variance. Labor mix variance formula is standard rate multiply revise the standard time minus actual time because more than one labor is used so we will calculate labor mix variance and first we will calculate revise standard time and revise the standard time formula is standard term for each labor divided by divided by its standard mix multiply actual mix now we will calculate this in both terms men and women and men uh, revise the standard time is 81,000 hours and for women 54,000 hours. Now we will put the values for both men and women. For men we will put the values standard rate 2 and for women the standard rate value is 3. RST, RST for men 81,000 and for women 54,000 minus actual time 72,000 for men and 63,000 for women. Now we will solve this and after solve this the value will come 18,000 in favorable term for men and for women the answer will come 27,000 in adversarial form. Now both of these the combined answer will come 9000 in adversarial form. Now we will calculate labor yield variance. In this question we will not calculate labor sub efficiency variance because in this question, loss is given. So, we will calculate in place of labor sub-efficiency variance, we will use labor yield variance. So, we will calculate labor yield variance. The formula is standard cost per unit multiply actual yield minus revised standard yield. In this, uh, in this formula, first we will calculate standard cost per unit and revise standard yield. So first we will cal calculate standard cost per unit and standard cost per unit formula is total standard amount divided by standard yield. So the answer will come rupees 90 per unit and revise standard yield formula is standard yield divided by standard mix multiply actual mix. So the answer will come 
3600 units now we will put the values in this formula standard cost per unit so already we calculated 90 actual yield actual yield 4100 units and revised standard yield 3600 units now we will calculate this and the answer will come 45000 in favorable term now we will verify it by two equations now we will verify it now first verification is lcv labor cost variance equal to labor rate variance plus labor efficiency variance now we will put the values labor cost variance 63000 in favorable and labor rate variance 27000 in favorable plus labor efficiency variance 36000 in favorable and the answer will come 63000 in favorable now this equation is correct now we will apply it second labor efficiency variance equal to labor mix variance plus labor yield variance now we will put the values labor efficiency variance 36000 in favorable plus labor mix variance labor mix variance 9000 in adversible plus labor yield variance 45000 in favorable first term in favorable and first in adversible so we will deduct it and the answer will come 36000 in favorable now these both equations are equal so our answers are correct thank you if you have faced any problem then you can ask from me thank you